Welcome to Truly Heal and our PEMF expert training, where we will learn what PEMF is and how you can use it to your advantage and how to make the right decisions. And we'll cover in the first video, what is PEMF? PMF versus EMF, dirty electricity, how nature surrounds you with constant PMF frequencies and the effects on you. We look at the different forms, oscillating versus ringer, uh, ringer PMF, and then we look at the power and intensity that is actually necessary for therapeutic effects. In the second video, we will look at the preparation and care so that you are aware on how to use these devices without going into dangers and, and precautions. We look at different healing effects in regards to pain in detoxification, oxygenation, nutrification and activation of your immune system. And then in the third video, we'll look into different diseases, really focusing on cancer and depression, our PMF and depression, cancer, osteoporosis, sleep, and all the different diseases, how it is used best and why it works so effectively with those problems. And then in the last one, we'll just look at which device is best suited for your practice, for your clinic, for your environment that you want to use it, and also for which disease and five ways to make money. And then we'll have some question and answers in the end. So who am I? Marcus Freudenmann. I've been studying alternative or holistic health for many many years we've made the movie cancer is curable now and traveled around the world and interviewed hundreds of experts in all areas of health and put together from that not only our documentary and book and online course but a whole series of education programs which we share at the truly heal academy where we educate oncologists doctors naturopaths um, nutritionists in a holistic approach which is slightly different we don't focus on treating a disease, we actually remove the causes of disease and through that allow the body to heal and support the immune system. So it's a slightly different approach, but very, very effective. And one of the big elements that we've learned is PMF as one of the support mechanisms that enhances everything we do dramatically. And that's why I'm excited to share that with you today. So what is PEMF? Number one, it's something that is all around you. If you look at this uh, cross section of planet Earth, you see that there is an inner core and then there is different layers of magma, heated molten rock and metal that has their own circulation. It's liquid and it's bubbling and it's rotating. And we know that the inner core of the Earth is spinning and rotating at different speeds at different levels. And that causes that rubbing friction. Now, if you take a metal and you rub that against something else, then all of a sudden it turns magnetic. And that's what we know when we take a screwdriver, rub that on our pans, and then we go down into a tight spot and we can pull out a screw. It's magnetically attached to the screwdriver. Now, this is the magnetic field that the Earth creates by rubbing metals against metals and because there is like tons of different molten uh, stones and rocks and metals in the earth that is a very very powerful strong magnetic field that expands out into the universe and you can see that here in this field it's actually moving in huge concentric circles from the north pole to the south pole and that magnetic field is giving us a life now, as soon as you move out of that space into space, like astronauts did, and they were moving out, all of a sudden, they were having the problem that their health deteriorated, their blood clotted up, everything was getting worse. And when they came back, they were actually really unhealthy. Oxygen uptake was decreased, the immune system completely collapsed. So what they noticed is we need to create that magnetic field within our spaceships in order for our astronauts to stay well. And that's what they did when they started then to build up this magnetic field with devices in the capsules. And all of a sudden, the, the astronauts came work well. And we know that from our Earth frequency field, that there is very low frequencies, they start at zero, and they go up to about 4050 Hertz. 
and that is the rumbling of the earth all pervading all the time and it is giving your cells strength it gives you life energy so as soon as you move out of that your cells deteriorate and you start to die now the next frequency range is what we call emf dirty electricity this is man-made it starts from power poles it's about 60 hertz that they carry or 50 hertz and then it goes up to computer monitors, radio, we know gigahertz, which is 3G and 4G mobile phones, and then microwaves, which are very uh, destructive and very, very, um, they overheat. And when you see mobile phone towers today are linked with microwaves. So one mobile phone tower to the next has actually a microwave link. So they are all pervading. If birds fly through that link and they fly exactly in that beam, from one pole to another they fall of the sky and then we have on the other side here the visual light and which is uh, infrared visible light and ultraviolet light if you have a short exposure you know two hours a day it's all very healthy it's what we need to live but if you stay out too long and you stay too much in the sun it's actually damaging and then cosmic rays and x-rays which we all know cause harm to the cell cause destruction to the dna so that's something that we need to avoid as much as we can. So EMF gives life, dirty electricity kills specific cells at different frequencies. That's what Rife uses to you uh, to, to destroy pathogens and organisms and cancer cells, weakened cells. And then we have the sunlight, which is, you know, like any medicine, take too much, it's not good. If you take too little, it's not good. You need the right measurement to get to the right levels. Okay, so clarifying that shows that we need the magnetic field. And BBC published an article which said that at the time of the dinosaurs, we had an extreme three times stronger magnetic field than we have today. And when you look at the size of a dinosaur and how huge they were, it actually requires an extreme density of bone and cell structure today there would be no possibility to sustain such a large animal because the magnetic field of the earth has calmed down cooled down and it's probably obvious you know the earth is cooling down the outer crust so at the time of dinosaurs there was lots of magnetic volcanic activity and that's why when you look here 1600 compared to 2000 we're now 2015 you can see already a massive change going from the red here and strong magnetic field all the way down to a very cooled off period in 2000. And that's how our magnetic energy is deteriorating. And that's why our overall energy levels are going down. So as soon as you use PEMF, the same frequencies, the same magnetic fields as the earth creates, you enhance life energy. You enhance the cellular energy, the structure of the cell, the detoxification pathways, everything is enhanced, and I'll show you that in a moment. So, what are the effects on us? Very simple. Any magnetic, well, let's just say it very simple. We are all electrical beings. We know we have neurons and electrodes, and it's all electrical. Our whole system is charged, and we can measure that in form of measuring heat, in measuring uh, our radiance into the world. And Everything that keeps us alive are electrons. And if you look at all the elements that we have, there is excited elements and there is deteriorated positive ions when they lose the charge. And that's why when you go to a waterfall, when you go to air that is moved to the ocean, to big waves, to storms, to lightning, that's when you have a very high increased negative charge and that's called excited particles and they are then absorbed by the cells. Now, if you have a deteriorating condition, diseased cells, then that means there is an imbalance in positive and negative charge. And the outside, or they, the, the charge of the cell is less than 60, 50, 40, 30 millivolt between inside independence and outside. So when you look at a healthy cell, the charge is about 80 millivolt. And that's just a simple uh, explanation that when you fire 
a large amount of excited particles, which are those magnetic fields, into the body, all of a sudden the body recharges its energy, the cells start to build up again, all the sodium channels, ion channels, potassium channels all clear up, and the body is recharged. And the whole electrical mechanism in our body works a lot better. And I'll show you that in later images, but this is a very crucial part to increase life energy within us. Now, coming back to the power and intensity, a lot of people discuss that all the time because this is one of the, the arguments in this field. When you are on Earth, you have, and see, this is 60,000 nano Tesla, and I talk in Gauss, it's all the same. Gauss was the original, and then in order to break it down, they called it Tesla and then Nano Tesla, Micro Tesla. Don't be confused. The world itself has a field in the weakest area, which is right now about uh, South America and um, here in South Africa. And then further back here, these are the low areas and they are 0 0.25 Gauss. If you go into high charged areas above the equator by the poles and down here towards Australia, then you have here 0 0.65 Gauss. Now this is what the world creates as an ongoing energy power. And that doesn't matter whether you are on Earth, whether you're in a high rise or whether you're in an airplane, you still have the same magnetic energy because the magnet is so big, is so powerful that it won't influence whether you are in the mountains or on sea level, you will still have the same electromagnetic field. Whereas if you take those mats that we create, you have to see the power of the mat, which is what we call here the intensity of the mat is a thousand gauss or a hundred gauss or 0 0.65 gauss. And it's divided by distance squared. So if you take a mat like the Beamer and the IMIS and all of those multi-level marketing mats, then they start at 0 0.35. That's the standard. And I think the uh, IMIS professional is 0 0.64 Gauss. And that's what you start with directly on the mat and up to two centimeters up. So as soon as you go above that, you reduce the power by distance squared. So it's a very simple calculation. As soon as you go two centimeters up, you have instead of 0 0.35, only 0 0.08, which is a lot less than the Earth. And yes, their argument is all correct as soon as you're directly measuring on the mat, but the distant factor reduces that with three centimeters already to 0 0.03, nothing. Actually, just, and that's why I put that here, rather lay in the grass or walk along the beach or go into a park and you have triple, no, 10 times the energy then you get from your mat. As soon as you, and you know, let's face it, we're not all 20 centimeters in diameter, we're a little bit more. So if you want to penetrate 20 centimeters, you have here 0 0.00087 Gauss. That's nothing. And that's why all clinics, and this is something you will find everywhere conclusively the same. Clinics who look for therapeutic effects, who look for power to achieve a result start minimum at 100. Dr. Rao said he wouldn't go below 500 Gauss. That's the minimum of devices that he uses. And the preference to really achieve something very powerful is a thousand Gauss. And then if you look at 20 centimeters, you have 2.5 Gauss, which really still has an effect. Now, let me explain the effect on your cells and what it actually does. And we'll cover that in the next slide as well. It actually needs to vibrate your cell, recharge your cell, activate your cell. So when you penetrate through a body, those cells go everywhere. They go through bone. Magnetic fields have no limit. They vibrate through everything like long waves. They go through everything. But the problem is for your cells in order to really charge up, they need an extra strong charge for the effect to take place. Whereas if you take very weak frequencies, they hardly reach those cells. And that's why the stronger the power, the more therapeutic and fast effect you have. 
Now let me look at three, uh, two different devices. And I know there is also a lot of confusion. We have the PMT120 and the Papimi, which are power devices. They're ringer devices. They don't work on frequency and sending frequencies into the cell. They actually send one big magnetic wave into the cell and that rings all cells at the same time. Now that's really crucial because think about all your cells have different frequencies. Your bone cells respond to low frequencies, to very low 5, 7, 8 hertz. Whereas your eye cells or your nervous system and your immune system responds to about 20 hertz, 17 hertz, 18 hertz, going up to 23 hertz. That's where they get fully activated. And that's why you need all sorts of different frequencies in order to activate all of your systems, all of your different body functions. And the ringer devices don't need to worry about that. They send one such massive shock in that all of those little bells, all of those little frequencies start to sing along and start to ring and they are fully recharged. You can see the power here with the sparks. These things are up to 39,000 Gauss. So extremely powerful in the way they change the dynamic in the cells. And the nice thing is healthy cells have no problem with that energy boost. They just recharge and feel great and deflect the rest. Whereas health, unhealthy cells like cancer cells, they overcharge and their membrane is uh, shattered and they deteriorate or they die off and we have that apoptosis effect. So the Ringer device is very, very powerful, but therefore very costly. And that's why in order to reduce the cost and in order to reduce that extreme expenditure, they created those oscillating PMF devices. Now they don't come to that extreme power burst. They actually work on a completely different principle. Instead of taking a club and hitting each cell, they start to make the cell sing along. Now, those of you who have a little bit of a musical understanding, you know, you take a tuning fork. And if you have a tuning fork, which has the same resonance, the resonance will make that, uh, that tuning fork sing along. And you hit the first one and the second one starts to vibrate at a lower energy, not as loud as the first one, but it will work. And it's dependent on distance, what we learned before. It's actually by squared, if you go further away, distance squared. And that will influence this cell at a lower level. But if you hold them very close to each other, the frequency will just swing over to the other and the vibration will make this one sing very loud. So that's just explaining the factor on distance. Now, when you have a cell and let's say we have a bone cell and it swings at seven hertz and you have here frequency of 23 hertz, will that affect those bone cells? Not at all. And that's why these devices, they start out to go in low frequencies and medium frequencies and higher frequencies, and they slowly work their way up into very high frequencies in order to reach all the cells of your system, all the cells of your body. And that's cool because they can do that in half an hour, 30 minutes, 45 minute programs. They go in three minute intervals through all of those frequencies and through that stimulate everything in your body. And that's why they are quite nice, usually as mats to lay on and then slowly they vibrate up. But you need to look that you have enough power in the device to actually feel the difference and feel the recharge. And just coming back, they don't need that. You can do a three minute treatment and it will be so powerful to penetrate your whole body with energy and to make all your cells active that these devices can be used in clinics with a lot stronger effects and much shorter time intervals than the oscillating devices, which just need a longer time to achieve a similar result. And that brings us to the next video. I'll cut here so that we don't have one long one. And um, that's where we cover best practice, all the precautions and dangers in using PMF and then how it actually influences your health.